file to show discount percentage in shopify hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can show discount percentages on specific products in shopify so let's get into it so as you may have known if you come over here into the product section and you come over here onto any product let's say this one right and if you scroll down you can see we have pricing and compared to pricing and you know what uh, this is the original price and this is the sales price right and down below you, you can see the cost per item and profit and if we open up the website and go to the store scroll down you can see this is the uh, product right here you can see it says it's on sale but we don't see what type of percentage how much percentage of sale do we have it, it just says sale so that's why in today's video i'm going to show you how you can add a percentage to that so first things first what you need to do is you need to go ahead and go into your uh, theme store or online store and go into themes and you're going to need to do a little bit of coding but don't worry it's fine and here in this section you need to go ahead and click on these three dots next to the customization button and go into edit code you can also let me just remove this one right here you can also create a duplicate of it so what this will do is if you mess anything up or you know you misplace something or some element it won't affect the actual site that is going on if you have good site it's getting traffic and everything you create a copy of it and then you make your changes in the copy you test it out if it's okay then you go ahead and publish it as the main site that's how it is so we're gonna go ahead and do that so wait for it to load everything up and then you would need to go in into the edit code section and edit the code right but one of the cool things about shopify or i don't know if it's cool or not is that they constantly update their website's code so sometimes you know it might work sometimes it might not work so usually you would come over here and then you would add codes but again you might come into a problem so for stuff like this i would not recommend going ahead and editing a code since elements like these are pretty common and pretty easy to do for these types of situations i would say go ahead and install an application and proceed with that instead of going into the uh, code section editing and editing the code what i would say is if it's something big then like for example custom animations and custom elements that you want to have that you can't find an application for then those i would say go for the uh, code section there are pros and cons with both if you go with the app section it might affect the overall speed of your website but for me it's good you know it's under 64 it's under two seconds which is good uh but yeah so i'm gonna click on the app section and then go into all recommended apps and then go into shopify apps it's gonna open up the shopify app store and we're gonna go ahead and add our application from here and here what you want to do is you want to search for pop-up and just search for it and we should have all these applications available you can see we have tons and tons of options these are all ads over here you can see at the top add 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 so the first ones are always ads. you got to look at this line right here so here you can see you have a bunch of different options i would recommend going ahead with this one pop converter uh, as you can see it says right here it's free you can see right here free you can see this one is also free free but these ones are not free they have a free plan so we're going to go with this one over here in the description you can see all of its options and what type of options it provides so you can see uh, this is the features that it provides pop-up types uh, email pop-ups sms pop-ups discount countdown timer so this is the one that we would want right so we're going to go ahead and click on install it's going to open up in another tab and it's going to ask you to install the application or take it to the website and sign up and here we go it's loading everything up so now we just go ahead and click on install button and it's going to go ahead and install the application and this is how it looks like once it's done this is your dashboard right here you can see all of your options welcome to the store this is the dashboard here you will be able to see all of the views subscribers and everything you have your analytics over here live activity email activity over here and on the left hand side you're going to have your options like templates pop-ups smart bars email subscribers coupons and everything else so here we have the pop-ups and templates option let's go ahead and take a look at the template option and here you can see these are the templates this is the timer the upsell option the gamification image flyouts discount video and everything else uh, these are the campaign types these are the pop-ups right here these are the smart bars right here 
And if you click on the themes, you can see all the themes, essential, dark, botanic, future, and everything else. Then on the left-hand side, you've got increased sales. And here underneath it, you can see all of the pop-ups. So these are the pop-ups right here. These are the smart bars right here. You can see coupons and everything else. So you can do this, but I feel like this is a different type of pop-up because it says right here, it's a campaign pop-up, not the percentage pop-up. So I suppose we do need to go to the code editor i did not want to do this because it is tricky so it is what it is so let's go ahead and go to the code editor and show you what you need to do so here you can see i've managed to add a few codes so first things first you want to come over here into the code editor and then you want to scroll down and you want to come here and find the card product dot liquid before it used to be a product uh, liquid it, it was a totally different component but as i said before shopify tends to update it so i had to go ahead and find the right one so this is the one that has all of our information that says card product dot liquid you can see right here the percentages do work and if i go into the product category for example let me just turn these off so you can see i was messing around with the codes some of them have the percentage some of them just have this 13 and then the, the sales pill but it doesn't have anything else so you can see i was working around with it so let me just go back actually to the shopify uh, store and you can see right here what i mean by that go into products go into any of these products you can see right here let's say this one right here right it's 13 percent off currently you can see right here compared to the price if i were to change the price let's say 50 and save it and then come over here it's 13 reload it it's now 33 percent off so you can see this is works this is the one that we needed so the code for it is over here you need to find this code right here called elsif car product compare price search for elsif car product compare right uh, for me it's at line 35 135 but that can change for everyone but again elsif and then i just added this code right here you can see right here i found this code in the help section as i said before i was looking around and i found this code right here i found this video as well but this video was not helpful at all it missed a few uh, marks plus it gave me the wrong discount but this code works right here i copied this code and come back over here and i just pasted it under this line right here called elsif and then we needed to remove another line right here so i added this code right here so this code is actually pretty useful so let me just show you what i mean so this is the code right here product production on sale this was the code that it says we need to remove this code and we need to place this code right here called compare common products dot product on sale because if we don't remove it for example if i just keep it over here let me actually copy this and i'll show you what i mean so if i just don't copy it and i keep this one right here and keep on save this one was the one that uh, this guy showed us in this video right here and over here as well added over here i reload it it says right here you can see it just says 33 13 14 20 it doesn't give you the percentage so that's why we need to paste this code right here and you can probably find this code in the description below as well so i'll just paste it over here replace that line save it come back over here reload it boom there you have it so that's how you do it that's how you add the product percentage on shopify so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye